I am not even sat down properly yet, but thank you for the raid. Is the microphone on? How are you? I haven't even tweeted. <clears throat> Can hear me good? I don't even know how long I'm going to be on myself, to be honest. That took ages because I was trying out those games that I just bought <clears throat> that had arrived in the post. And I was in two minds whether to just stream those and mess around for a bit and then go to bed. But I kind of wanted to finish this dungeon because we were very near the end, I think, yesterday. So I think I'm just going to continue with that. But just bear with me a moment. I need to close stuff on my computer. How was the rest of your stream? <coughs> I did, at the end, sneak off testing out Excalibur, the Japanese version. It's kind of interesting because I didn't realise... Are you familiar with that game? It's called Excalibur 20... 2555. And the... Um, I think it's PAL made. I think it's like European or something. It's made by Telstar, I believe, or something. And I think they changed the character model for the American release, which is obviously what the Japanese one is based off. It looks better. King Arthur in space. Yeah, something like that. It's it's set in the future. I think you're somebody from ye olde England and you get transported into the future. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I'm literally not even sat in this chair properly yet. But yeah, one minute raids after I've just hit go live. There you are. I didn't realise you were going to... stronger. Ending quite, yeah. Jekar gains a level. I feel like I've forgotten something. I literally just... I always hit the... I always hit go live while the kettle's boiling. I make a cup of coffee. And then I sit down. It's sort of like my little ritual. Take the eldest for a check in the morning. It's can't seem too late either. Yeah, I thought you was... That's why I sort of... I was wondering if you were going to be finishing earlier. I start streaming and then realise I forgot to miss you. Right, it's such a mood. And how are you, by the way? I saw you pop in. I think you were in Mystical's stream earlier. But hello there sort of going through the summoner 2 at the moment it's not typically what I play I do tend to do a lot more of the sort of Sega Mega Drive Super Nintendo stuff but every now and then we'd like to do something different but last night I had to give up on this dungeon because I was practically falling asleep but I thought I'd just squeeze a couple of hours in tonight But there's a total lack of music in this dungeon, and I'm finding it very alienating. I'm hoping it'll be over soon. But I do have a coffee. So all should be good. You know what I haven't checked? Let me just check. I've got my own stream paused, because otherwise we get that horrible ghosting sound. There we go. That's better. I was going to mention the sound, but then I heard the oofs and blurgs. No, it's the game. The whole game's had music up until this dungeon, and then just suddenly, nope. This is it. Um, Argent Dagger. We haven't been told, but I'm assuming we need to collect all these daggers. I don't know what I'm doing with them, though. I think I'm shoving them in those holes on that statue thing. In other news, I have a bad feeling that my television is starting to fail. It seems to be... Earlier it was like darker than usual. I don't know what that's all about. Because the last couple of games like I've been looking at, I've been like, why are these so dark? And I'm starting to get a feeling it's not the game, it's my TV. Me and technology... It's just because I've had that... It's that point, you know... I've been living in the same place for 12 years and everything's all starting to just fail at once. It's just not going well. I'm really concerned about my TV though because I don't 
No, I mean at some point I would have liked to have got a new TV anyway, but I sort of enjoy hanging on to this one because I'm not super fussy. It's big enough for me, if you know what I mean. And what I like about this TV is it has, I think I said this the other stream, but it has all the sort of connectors that I want at the back. It still lets me hook up like S-Video. It's got a D cable, if you know what that is. They use it here. I'm not sure I'm going. They have a D cable in the back, and it also has S video out, which is really nice. I don't have SCART though, but I can do without S. I can do without SCART, I guess. But the, the S video, like I said, is really nice, and I know that if I get a new TV, it's probably not going to have S video, and then that means I'm going to have to find a new solution for playing my PlayStation and Saturn, unless I just use those pound cables. But they're too harsh for me. I find them too harsh. I just want to get up here. I probably should level up those people. There we go. I'm trying to work my way back to this statue, supposedly, that has um, four or five holes on the side. I think that's where I can put these daggers. Yeah, today I had two games arrive that I'd ordered. I got them in a deal. I'm a bit pissed off about one of them because the spine, like I said, is super, super sun faded. And it really kind of annoys me. Things like that really bug me. And it's, and I'm, I'm not mad enough, like, I'm not, or oh, I'm not rich enough that I will repurchase it just because it's got a sun faded spine. You know, it's kind of, I think it's a waste to buy the game again just because I don't like the spine. Even though it wouldn't cost me more than, like, what, $10. But it's still $10 I could put on something else, you know. But. I know that it's always going to sit on my shelf and annoy me now. It will be the most unfaded spine I have. It's a game called Cybernetic Empire. Which has been developed by Wolf Team, I think. And published, or maybe the other way around, I don't really know. But Wolf Team worked on it and so did Telenet. And that's sort of what interested me, the wolf team side of it. Um, party. I don't know if it'll be any good, but i uh, give it a go. Do you know wolf team? They're the, I think, pretty sure it's the wolf team is in like Tales of Fantasia. And Star Ocean and stuff, you know, before they got became like Bam, not Bamco, but Namco, something or other. Nam aren't they? The, they're the Tales of Studio now. Actually, oh, I don't know. They sort of split off, I think, at one point. But anyway, just interested me. It's sort of, in fact, it might interest you because it seems a little bit sort of style like not metal gear solid per se but yeah i don't know i think it's just a shooter like an action shooting game but then the other game like i say is the japanese version of excalibur 25 to 55 it's called lost sword here and the cover's really beautiful for the japanese version makes it look like a much more interesting game than it is Whoa, what's going on with him? Um, I don't really want to have to fight all these things again. Drop a firestorm. The problem with the firestorm thing on this is that um, if there's nothing to target or it goes a bit wonky, like it hurts you as well. So it's a bit of a risk. But it is very overpowered. It just seems to decimate everything. I'm just trying to remember. Oh, there it is in the middle. I, I don't know 
how many of these daggers I need exactly. But I think I might have them all now. If I don't have them all, then I have no idea where I'm going. See, these are nearly dead. Oh, he is. I have gained new insight. Oh, everybody's level that. I tell you, the good thing about this dungeon, though, is the experience has been really good. I mean, like, actual experience, not my feelings on it. Oops. See a lot of green poles. Pole pluses? Oh yeah, I need to level them up, which can't be bothered for a minute. I will do. Still get experience though. Right, maybe it's four then. There's something strange about this statue. Oh, we've already... We've unlocked it already. Oh. I guess that's what the daggers are doing. And, and that's it? Okay, maybe I should actually level people up now. Something strange about this statue makes me want to stab it exactly. Like, there doesn't seem to be much of a hint that that's what the daggers are for, but it's just, you know, four key items in a dungeon and four holes in a statue. What else are you going to do? Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about levelling up, though. Critical hit is probably good, isn't it? Get that out of the way. Accept changes, yes. You've played Mass Effect, haven't you? Do you get like this when you level up on these kind of games where you just get to a point where you can't be bothered to think? Especially when it all seems sort of very similar. Like, parry and dodge. Would I rather parry stuff or dodge it? I don't, I don't really know. And I haven't decided, like, I feel like I'm using swords for her. Auto leveling in the legendary. Oh, really? Mass Effect, to an extent, doesn't bother me quite as much, but I have to say, even that has been getting at me a bit. It seems all sometimes a little bit insequential. Um, insequential? Is that the word? Inconsequential? Insequential. I want to level up her dark magic, I guess, because we've just unlocked it, so why not? Give her more options. Um, what's aimed attack? Chance of causing status effects, that's probably good. Whatever. <laughs> and then Rosalind, she can have more magic, I think. I'm just getting her magic up. Let's just uh, unlock more magic. Um, yeah, go for it. So what spells is that unlock for her, perhaps? Police is not there anymore, great. Um, she's still only got Empower. Faith. Parties resist, oh that might be good. Sort of magic defense. Nothing new there, whatever then. Right, I'm going to save, because I would assume there's a boss coming up. Whatever this is. Been doing that with Knights of the Republic and Mass Effect when I play them lately, just focusing on the MC stuff. Or to level in the party, yeah. I've tried to, when I've been playing Mass Effect, I've been trying to do it. Oh. Oh. Definitely a boss. You never know. He might just be like, oh, here's the Ring of Stone. Mm -mm. Ikemos Priest King. Is he a a priest king or a king of priests? Meteor Storm. Maybe let's use this new... Target... Di Why? Oh, she's busy. Let's cast Empower on Axe Guy. Um, 
Why can't I take control of Joseph? Is he busy? Can't seem to be able to control Joseph for some reason. Which is great, because I want him to summon something. Party resistant to magic. That'll do. Why can't I control Joseph? Is he... Oh. Any chaos based Judas Priest trick? It could be that too, yeah. These are possibilities. Oh, he's paralysed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, uh, remove his status effect. And now we need to heal him. How are you, Barley? Why is Jekar doing nothing? Right, let's move you away from the king, because I wish you'd attack this guy instead. I'm going to summon... Mm, mist? I'll summon, summon something. Oh my god, I've lost the cursor! Did you see what I sent you about um target takes less physical damage? Did you see what I said about the uh Excalibur? If I cast blind on him. It's very interesting. Let's do that. Had a bit of a fever last night, didn't sleep that well, but otherwise okay, I'll go summon her. I've only just started, really, since yesterday. I'm just suddenly on this boss and trying to do the the bossy things. But I, I'm still getting haunted by the lack of music. How much damage does that do? Oh, did I just kill my own summon spirit? I'm not sure that was very good. Um... Let's cast Regenerate on me. She can... Why does he he's keeps attacking people that he shouldn't be? Very annoying. Can she do... Ooh, aimed attack at the eyes, the arms or the leg. Causes blind, cripple or slow. Can we do slow? That would be good. So hard to tell. I can't see what's going on. Oh, everybody's paralysed. Shit. You know, I've got the tank character right there, but he's not having any of it. Oh, God. Fleece is going to die. Um. Like, please. Please attack this guy. Just leave her alone. <laughs> Oh my god, he's paralysed both of my mages. This is terrible. I don't know if I can actually remove paralyze. I don't think I have any stuff. Surely I must have something. Um, recovery tonic? No. Oops. No. Healing? No. Scrotum shit. I read it as that yesterday as well. It is, however, not. It's a scrotum shield, I think. I don't have anything to remove paralysis. This is this is just not good. Um, so somebody's just going to have to die, and I'm going to have to resurrect them. Oh, come on. I can't do the timings with this guy. I might change his weapon. He's doing zero damage. Got it. He's not even hitting. Oh, please, just... You, th you would think that paralysis might wear off. Always important to have a scrotum shield. Right, I think so. Got to head off to bed. Thank you again for the raid. 
Oh, hey James, I didn't notice you there. Chaos Palace is very popular on Twitch. Oh, it sure is. Absolutely because of Chaos Palace. And not a certain raid. Or two. Um, I didn't even shout you out, you know. I feel so rude, but I just feel like... <laughs> I've been live for a minute, so... Who am I shouting you out to? But, yeah. Mr. Cup, should we give you one out now? Just <laughs> there you are. Playing that retro. Oh, God, everybody's paralysed. Oh, Rosalind's back. So it does wear off. That's fine, then. I wish she would... Yeah, she's getting on the case. Although, she's about to die. This is a disaster. Is he supposed to be missing all the time? I'm going to change his weapon. 35, 65, 60. It's just easier to use. And he can have that scrotum shield on. No! Yep. Um, but I'm going to have him summon something, I think. Try the black fire mist. This is terrible. I feel very overwhelmed by this boss. Oh. <laughs> None of these physical attacks are hitting. I'm going to try her doing a back attack. Come on. <laughs> the oofs are making me giggle. Jack Hardy's to get out of the bloody way. Come on. Oh, did that even hit? <laughs> it's so hard to tell. Oh, zero damage. That's right, a load of rubbish. The only magic is working. Let's just magic his ass. It's time. Yeah, just do it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we win now. <laughs> Should have just done that. Kmos Master Key. Key covered in archaic glyphs. Okay. A ring of stone. Covered by Joseph. Um... In the Palace of Akamos, he reclaimed the Ring of Summoning from the Priest King Armun, who wielded his power against the River God Oops, and destroyed his empire. Mm. Nodachi. Ice Coffin. Oh, that looks good, but I need to level up my stuff. These two-handed swords inflict huge amounts of damage and may cast an Ice Coffin spell against its target. Well, we'll have all of that. Oh, that's good. Oh, that boss was very, very much trash. Well, what's this? Who are they? Just priests chilling out. I guess we can leave, but there was a quest to do here as well. Oh, I can equip the ring, I assume, now. But I don't know which to equip it. Oh, that needs investigating. Couldn't identify. Her thing's not high enough. Okay. Ring of Darkness. I probably should put the stone ring on. Oh, but then the, his dark power is going to go down three. That's annoying. That's resist. Uh, hmm. Let's unequip that one. And I'll put the stone ring on. If I can find it. Oh, it's there. And that will give me a new summon. The stone golem. I think that's everything there is to see in this room.
Get rid of that summon and let's summon the other one. Bye. Cannot be opened from here. Oh, it's already open. So, what was the quest that I was doing? There was... No, there was that ugly guy. Quella, was that it? No. Tathal, the... no. The ghosts of Ikemos. You must find and bring him the necklace of Queen Vesura. I don't think I've found it, though. I kind of want to check. I think I will. What quest is it? Um, the ghost of Ikemos? Ghost of Ike. So I don't want to leave and have to come back. What was the website that I was... Uh, I wish I kept that open. There was a website I was using yesterday. Let's see if I can find it. Durgan's Lucky Charm, was that it? Nope. Ah, here we are. Oh, they don't have it listed. That is annoying. I also have that armory key, which I'm not sure if I used that. Did I? What's the armory key for? Ghost of Kamos quest. Solution. It can be found in the Kamos swamp. It's on the left side of the huge ruin where you can access to the Ikemos Palace upper level. So it's outside then. Um. Hmm. Well, let's do that. I think that's all there is to do in this dungeon. We could just leave. But well, there we go. How's everybody's... What day is it? Wednesday. I was so tired last night. I stayed up too late playing this game. Which I'm sort of on track to doing again tonight. And ended up taking a 30-40 minute power nap at work. Oh no! As soon as I get out the door. Let's see what this golem does. It's nice to have some music back there. Whoa! Very fancy. Oh my god, why is she dead? Yeah. 
These gargoyles, they hit really, really hard. into the wrong part of the screen. Oh, you confused me then for a minute. I was like, is this a technical hitch? But no, I know what you mean. I'm trying to do a little quest to finish the boss. I don't know if you were here then. I just got to the end of that dungeon. And now I've got a new ring and a new summon. Just the physical one. I thought I explored this whole area really, really well. I guess it's supposed to be up here somewhere, but I, th I thought I walked up here. Some necklace. There's a green imp. I don't remember fighting a green imp. There it is. I'd obviously miss this. Vaisura's necklace, a wedding present for Vaisura, queen of Akamos in the ancient dynasty of Noak. Can't believe I didn't find this. Would have saved me a bit of time if I'd have gone in already. How are you? I've had another bad experience with a game that arrived. I was talking about it earlier. That um, cybernetic empire turned up with a very, very sun faded spine. I'm a little bit peeved. But it was very cheap, so. I mean, it, it functions, it works. I don't think they specifically said that it was amazing condition. I don't remember now, to be honest. But they definitely did have a photo of it, otherwise, because I wouldn't have bought it. Stuff like that needs stated, in my opinion. Oh yeah, what spells can this thing do? Oh, nothing. What's it all about? What? Oh, I can't look at its stats? Nope. I can control it, though. That's fun. Oh my god, look how slow it is. Wait, where is it? That's awful. I mean, people miss spines, I guess, but this is just so sun faded. You, you can't not notice. I mean, the discs are in okay condition. The... The manual is all right. The case is not got any, any cracks on it. It functions, you know, it works. I've tested it. It's just the spine's really sun faded. And I, and I've, I know where else I could get this from. So it's kind of annoying because I would have rather have bought it from another place and paid a little bit extra just to not have a sun faded spine. But oh well, I'll keep it now. It's done. Lessons learned. Well, there's no lessons learned. Lost Sword looks surprisingly good though. I was testing it out earlier. I think I'm going to stream it. Definitely. I don't, I don't know when, but I'm going to stream Excalibur 2555. So it looks like it'll be a fun one. has a different character model from the, the version that I'm used to though. I did a little bit of research and, I, and it, well research, I just did a 
like a 10 second Google, looked at a couple of videos, and I think that um, it looks like they changed the character model. Meridian Prime, hello, how are you? How's the game going? It's still, uh, yeah. I've, I've managed to finish this dungeon now. But yeah, I think they um, changed the character model for the main character for the American version. And the Japanese version is the same as that. Looks better. I have to say the game on the whole looks better. I think they've improved it. I don't know whether how much of it's the Japanese version versus the uh, American version. But I think the loading times are faster because it was really bad when I when I played it back in the day. Like abysmal loading. Oh, these things are back again. Because that was half the thing that I remember about it was just this horrific, ugly user interface, horrible loading. Or, maybe I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm just so used to kind of janky. Why is this magic not targeting the golem? Maybe I'm just used to janky bad games at this point that are, you know, everything looks good. Who keeps going ooh? I am the ghost of Munarus, counsellor of the priest kings of Ikemos. Recover the necklace of Queen Visura and bring it to me, and then my soul will find rest. I found the necklace. At last, after centuries of anguish, honour shall be restored to my name. All will speak of Munaros with sorrow in their hearts. 1,000 experience. And that's it. Question not updated. Not... Surely it's not finished. The ghosts of Ikaros. I think it's gone. New gen players consider everything retro console made in the... Oh my god. What is that thing in the... People say... In the... in the. Uh, I think this game came out in, in the late 1900s. Which is an awful thing to say. I forgot to really walk all the way back through the swamps. Not sure about that. At least we'll get some music though. Playing 64 games on Switch consoles as if they were released this year. Oh yeah, I've, uh, th that Golden Eye hasn't that been sort of controversial? Didn't you play through every single N64 game before you did Super Nintendo? Or did I make that up? I'm pretty sure when I big tall raided you, I think the first time. Yeah. I think Chrono Gear was thinking about doing that at some point. Did you find any any hidden gems? Right, what was your what would you say was your favourite game that you found on the N64 that you didn't think would be good? Maybe. I actually don't know too much of the library on that one. All right, let's just make a beeline to get out of here. Need a fast travel. Body Harvest. I've heard of that one. Who? What's significant about Body Harvest? Why have I heard about that? Who made... Did somebody make that? I've definitely seen that on a YouTube video somewhere. Can't remember why. That's it. It's GTA. That's it. I knew there was something significant about it. 
This peasant was crossing the bridge, now in ruins. Not anymore then, are they? Did you play Mission Impossible? Well, I, I mean, I guess you did because you played everything, but I always think Mission Impossible's not as bad as people make out. I had that on the N64. I don't know how it compares to the PlayStation version, though. Ring of Aggression. There's a lot of rings in this dungeon. Whoa. I kind of just want to get out the f as fast as I can. I can't find... I can't find the way down. PS1 version has more voice acting. That's the version you've played, isn't it? We expect it to be GE7 kind of game. We exploit it. Okay, but it's only 9. Oh, Gold Knight. What, Mission Impossible? Yeah, I think that's probably kind of why we got it, but it is very much its own thing. It had some interesting ideas. I don't think it was a very good version of the film, though. It's kind of not really the film, but then again, Neighbors Gold Knight. I don't know what else I had on the N64. Not a lot. Mostly just the famous stuff. You know, the Zeldas and the Mario 64. I had, um. What else was that? There was, there was one more. Th oh, um. Nope, it's gone. A Donkey Kong 64. I think only had, we only had about nine N64 games. They were so expensive. Oh, Castlevania. I had Castlevania 64. Never finished it. Platforming on that game was awful. We want to play Mischief Makers. Isn't Mischief Makers on something else? Isn't there one treasure game that's on two different platforms? Have I made that up? What's the? Did they do two games? Maybe I'm getting mixed up with Silhouette Mirage, but I feel like there was a one that was on something different. N64 early. Did they do another game that was on the N64? There's two similar games that I mixed up. No, I don't think it was Silent and Ross. What's the one where they're really, really small? The really small character. Mischief Makers is a different game. It's not the one I'm thinking of, actually. There's this treasure game that's got a really tiny character. I think it was on two different platforms. I feel like one of them one of them might have been the Saturn? Sin and Punishment? That's not what I'm thinking of. Bangayo. Yeah, what's that? Bangayo. That's, that's it. It's Dreamcast in 64. Yeah, and one of them is really expensive, I think. Played it on the Dreamcast. Sin and Punisher is really nice. That's not treasure though, is it? Th that one I only remember because it was on the Wii store on import, wasn't it? Early on. I think a lot of people were always like, what Sin and Punishment? There's a sequel to that too, isn't there? Because it was Japan only, wasn't it? But it, because it doesn't, it doesn't really use language, I think. So didn't they just dump it on the Wii store? First few loves it blew me away. Is it? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I want to play that now. It's too bad the the the, the e has gone. Is it on Switch? Ah. 
I always wanted that Goemon N64 game. I remember seeing it in the um, second-hand stores, and there was many, many times that I nearly bought Mystic... Well, because we had it, what was it called? Mystical Ninja in PAL territory? Was it called that in America too? Mystic, Mystic Ninja or something. And I very much nearly bought it, but it was just always a little bit expensive, and there was other games I wanted. I think I foolishly bought Castlevania 64 instead once. I remember always wanting it though, and I never got I never got it. There was there were two games weren't there, Mystical Ninja Two as well. Oh, how do I get out of this place? open Goemon game. I want, I've never played any of the series. There's all the Super Nintendo ones as well. Yeah, I've not played a single one. It's just the series I've always been aware of. I think it's because it's so sort of prolific, I don't know where to jump in. And most of it's not been... Most of it was like Japan only. Snares going on. There's like three or four, isn't there, on the Super Nintendo? There's also one or two on the PlayStation, I think. Ah, oh, finally leave him. So this one looked tough. Was officially released, right? I don't even remember. I kind of want to explore the map a bit too. Before I go back. I actually don't know where I'm going next. Do -do -do -do. Hey Sneaky Elk. I highly recommend Goemon's Great Adventure. What's that one? That's the favourite. We only recently got the second and third SNES games fans translated. So was the first one officially released? Wasn't it on the Mini? Maybe probably not the Western Mini though actually. I think it was on the Japanese Mini. Oh shit. Oh no I'm not saved. It's another one of these clowns. It's a bop though. Let's go. This is really not good. I'd bet I... Oh, he's going to kick my ass. Because that first horseman did. I'm nervous. I'm going to summon uh, the golem. And have... Uh, have her cast... Party takes less physical damage, yes, go on them. Um Blind? Yeah, go on, let's do it. Um empower Jekar. I'm trying to pretend that um, if I say it it's gonna be logical and, and help. Where's my golem? Lightning, go on. Oh he's he's going down. He's done, he's toast, get out of here. Oh, he's getting off his horse. He's not even rendered. I think he's still suffering from lightning. Being zapped. Yeah, that's what it is. Ooh. Your ass is grass. Hmm. 
Running away? He was very underwhelming. I think maybe we've... I don't know, the difficulty was a bit out of balance there, because the last dungeon was pretty rough. We're out of medieval fancy and into the dingy nightclubs. <laughs> With snake whips. It's the best kind. It's the S&M club. I didn't mean to heal you. Textures were too much. I think, because it was in-game engine, wasn't it? I think it got locked into him being electrocuted. What I did notice was quite cool was when we rewatched those, like, um, lore stories, the Aranagaf and all that stuff, the cutscene had Jekar in it instead, because he wasn't there last time I was there. A locked character. How do I get out? Where's the exit? Apparently they do not think to do that. They just let him run away. I mean, the, the first horseman, I barely survived, so I was quite happy to let him run away, but he was quite clearly not, not much of a threat, was he? Um, I mean, we, we could continue exploring for... Oh, that's saved, though, because I haven't actually done so. I also today I actually set the date so it's the correct date instead of being the 1st of January 2000 which technically is probably before this game even came out Are we near the end of this island? Some good map music though Uh oh the encounters are annoying, though. Especially waiting for them to load. So how you do? Oh, it's loaded. <laughs> Stand in the fire. Good old load times. Anybody think it was on the Saturn ported from the PlayStation? Reminds me of Diablo on PS1. It's pretty bad, this is. I didn't really mind at the time. I don't mind too much now, to be honest. It's just the the encounter rate is annoying. Like in between locations, it's not too bad because I feel like you spend enough time in them. It does make going through the city a little bit painful, though, when you're just in a rush. Oh my god! Where's the exit? I just want to get out. I don't want to do this encounter. Do do do. <laughs> I don't even know if these things scale or not. Do you know, I've never played Diablo. Is that like illegal or something? I've never played Diablo. Never played Diablo 2. I only, my friend sort of got me into playing Diablo 3 for the first time like a year or so ago. Uh, we haven't played much of it yet, but I do have Diablo 3. Stop right there, criminal scum. Ah! You'll have to catch me first. That's why it's actually the real reason why I left the UK. Fled the country. For crimes against not playing Diablo. I also haven't seen E.T. Just despicable. I could really upset people with movies that I haven't seen, and I do. I haven't seen E.T. I haven't seen The Never Ending Story. Yeah. 
I hadn't seen the Goonies until I was in my twenties. Can't say I liked it that much, to be honest. Bam, bam, bam. I've not played Donkey Kong Country series. Can we just get out of here? PC games were as easy to get into growing up. Oh, it's basically, yeah, anything PC is, is why I've not played it. Played a lot of Diablo 2. That's about all, though. Dabble with me briefly. It's like my friend owned the first game. Not playing Diablo is a Section 5 public order offence, I'm pretty sure. Oops. Hey, Harrytron, how's it going? Diablo 1 PS1 had issues, but it had cat. I always remember the cat, the advertisements for Diablo, like the posters and stuff, but I never played it. Diablo 2 saved my own money, and Dad was interested in getting a new PC. Not playing Donkey Kong Country is definitely a crime. Oh dear. I know, but it was just so expensive. It was really, I think there was just other stuff too. But it was, in, it, pretty sure it was an expensive SNES game at the time. Three, not so much. Also, Jabber on PS1 is a very nice port. Is it? That tempts me because Odyssey number one, it don't get excited. We're not doing the PlayStation 2 library. I just. I just thought it's a, I just thought it's a nice way to tag the stream. It tells you what console I'm playing or whatever. And every PS2 game, I'll just add to the number. But there's no, there's no goal. It's not out of like, because what is the PlayStation 2 like 2000 or something? I don't do PlayStation 2 emulation anyway, and I would never be able to afford the entire library to play it. So I'll just play what I have gradually over time. Thank God, play what you like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we won't be playing, like, FIFA on the PlayStation, don't worry. It will not be happening ever. I'm still doing Mega Drive, though, and I'm still very serious about doing all the Mega Drive games. And I'm serious about, well, to an extent, I'm, I'm going to work my way through the SNES library as best I can, including stuff that's not so savoury. But PlayStation 2 is, is more... We're going through my backlog of PlayStation 2 games and play same with PlayStation 1 and Sega Saturn. Things that I own on my I shelf behind out. me that I have not got round to. You know. Aren't there like 1,000? I would have thought there's more, to be honest. I'd have thought the PlayStation 2 has got in, an insane amount of shovelware. Because the PS1 library is massive, it's bonkers. Got it for five pound and a boot sale. What Diablo? I could imagine. Surprisingly polished and fun. I was got the impression it was only as well known because whoops, and that's gone out of the chat. Wasn't the graphics? I was just wondering, Barley Bam. I bet, I bet it's probably all crap though, because I could probably get it in Japan, but I don't. I assume it's going to be all in Japanese, and I probably don't really want to play Diablo in Japanese. Um, unless it's on the PSN. That's a choice. What are we doing with you? I want more sword and heavy arms, I think. Um, he needs to get more heavy arms, doesn't he? He's still learning. Yes. Who else has just leveled up Jekar? Um. Magic resist. Oh, let's give him that, because he's probably squishy, isn't he? Okay. 
What is going on, man? Really comfy to control with the controller. See, that's another thing for me, is I just like controllers. I've been asked like past three years now. Much of it as a kid. I was going to say, it would not surprise me if PS2 is closer to 4,000. PS2 is the final console you got until Switch last year. Whoa, that's a long gap. Donkey Kong Country. Oh, we'll be doing Donkey Kong Country, though, because I am working through the Super Nintendo library slowly. I very nearly played um, Donkey Kong Country the other day, but the other the other month. But we did Super... I put it to a vote, and it was Super Mario World 2 or Donkey Kong Country and Super Mario World 2 won. But, I mean, I'll do Donkey Kong Country later and stream it, I'm sure. Finish all PS2 games is a nice recipe for insanity, especially if you speak Japanese. Yeah, exactly. So, I, I I just, not to be morbid, but I, I know I won't live long enough to finish all PlayStation 2 games. <laughs> I don't think, that, uh, yeah, it was won't be happening. So, I actually think these days, PS2, in Japan anyway, with me, because I do have a, a large amount back in the UK, but I didn't bring them over. I'd say PS2 is the smaller of my collection here. I don't like the word collection, but you know what I mean. Um, maybe PS3, actually. Montage video homage to PS2 games that we'll never actually play. Could do. What? <laughs> I'm just going to leave. I'm not asked about this random encounter. Tried to do PS2 PAL library and tapped out around the seas. Still a lot of PS2 games I want to play. Yeah, I think that with those you've kind of got to pick and choose a bit. Because, I mean, it's fun with Mega Drive because it's it's retro. It, you know, a lot of the games are pretty short and there's there's literally like 800 of them and that's it it's far more realistic and also i've said it before but it's not like there's the retro police watching me and they're gonna you know tell me off for not fulfilling the the fill, fulfilling it all and doing it all i'm just having a bit of fun if i don't do it i don't do it you know what i mean but i'm just gonna keep going as best i can but i'm not in a rush because i'm i mean i want to enjoy doing it I'm not trying to finish them all by 2024. I was doing a pretty good fast speed last year. Because, I mean, how many have we done? 130 Mega Drive games in a year? Not bad. They know you didn't finish by exactly. And they also know that I haven't played Diablo. So, you know. Gameplay length and value mindset. It's for be manageable, yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty much low key, just an excuse for me to just play stuff that I wouldn't usually. That's the main fun. Beware of the retro police. Yes, the retro police. They're out there telling you things like Saturn is on only two D games are better on the Saturn. Blah, 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 blah. What's this? Is this where I just I was just here? Is this the swamp? Yeah, we've done this. So, what should I do? Head back into town? The Kasani made rings. And they might know where the Ring of Fire is hidden. Their stronghold lies below Sarnavar, Mountain of the Wise. I don't know where this is, though. I mean, is that it then, the big mountain? That would be wise. And this is what's doable, not a lot of RPGs either. Lots of games, 5 to 15 hours. I actually, I, I think, I'll see how my finances are going, because I really do need to get a Switch. But I think, I really want to get an, an N64 this year. I really want one. Because it feels like I'm missing it from the set. I've got the PlayStation 1, I've got the, the Saturn. I want the N64. I really just... I want to play... Um, I want to play Ocarina of Time again. But on a real N64. Not on the 3DS or whatever. Oh, I've not been here. And I want to play... Um, 
Just a few bits. I want to. Pl There's a Tactics Ogre game on the N64 I'd like to play. Um, I want to play Paper Mario properly on an N64. That'd be fun. And what else is on it? I'd like to get Castlevania, but the le and I want Legacy of Darkness, but I think it's really expensive now. I'm just saying that it's probably no more expensive than like Cotton Two. But at the moment, I need to just chill out, really. <laughs> I do have my eye on one particular, well, a, a game or two that I'm, I've sort of kind of want for the PS1. I want a game called A Barla Burn, which I saw so someone streaming on Twitch. And that's how it came onto my radar. But I want this game called A Barla Burn. It's like a 2D fighter, a uh, 2D fighter game, a 3D fighter game. But it also has like a quest mode on it. Just looks fun. I actually, after playing Soul Edge yesterday by myself, I played a little bit of Soul Edge. It made me want to get a couple of a couple of 3D fighters that I grew up playing. I don't think I'd be interested in buying any... Th I'm not really interested in 3D fighters that I don't have nostalgia for, I don't think. But definitely the ones that I grew up playing, I want to revisit them. Although I'd be curious to play like Dead or Alive, because I've never played that. But so I have Last Bronx on the Sega Saturn. I'd say, like, it seemed alright, but it just didn't do a lot for me. I think it, it's... If you're not a super fighting game, like, nerd, then I think it's hard to get into them when you don't have any nostalgia. I was looking at eBay last year, um, also because, sorry, I'm just finishing my thought, because you're obviously up against AI. It's probably fun with friends, but by yourself, the solo games are perhaps not. Looking at eBay last year, not convinced I'd ever actually played one. On N64, maybe a few rounds of gold. See, you know how you talk about, you said you played um, Ocarina of Time and you weren't so fussed about it. I reckon if you sat down with a real N64 controller and put yourself in the right frame of mind, I think you'd, you'd see it in a different, a different way. Or you wouldn't, and people can just have their opinions, but, you know. I don't know, I feel like it's a... Uh, it is more fun with a with a, a controller. My sad village, I did not meet... I think I've just pressed cancel and we've had an encounter now. Obviously, I'm not... I'm, I'm doing... I'm terrible because I'm in enabling you, and we should stop enabling each other, but... Uh, N64... <laughs> Even just playing it emulated with the, with the controller might be a big change, you know, on a, a Saturn. Did somebody say fighting game nerd? <laughs> they did. Random encounter. No. Let me leave. Dead or Alive is okay. I think the second was it. The it was the second one, wasn't it? That seemed to do all the the work at the time. I remember it being a big deal because of the environments smashing. Because I was watching Big Tall play in the Dead or Alive volleyball games recently. What's the fastest way out of here? CRT. Yeah, you were. You would. I wonder. Would it? Is it even that? How much are N64s and? Games like Zelda in the UK now. I wonder. Mind you, you'd probably want a Japanese copy, wouldn't you? Just right, I'm going to save before I go in this village because I'm not sure why I'm going there, to be honest. No. Majora's one of my favourites. I've never finished Majora's Mask. Everybody loves Majora's Majora's Mask. I still prefer Ocarina of Time, I think. Consult's health is about 80. 
Yeah. They're not that expensive here yet, although everything's spiking here now. I think some of it, unfortunately, is because the yen weakened, and I think a lot of people have been buying, importing Japanese stuff because it's been cheap. Massad Village. Oh, this is where I started the game, I think. I'm sort of curious to walk back a little bit. I don't think there's anybody to talk to, though. I'm not sure if there's any point in going back. Oh, the enemies, they, they have to scale. They must be. My favourite Zelda that I've played properly, which is all of them except for post... Um, doesn't this sound like this could be out of a Legacy of Cain game? I liked, I like uh, Ocarina of Time, obviously, but then I also really like Twilight Princess. Mario 64. Mario 64. Mm. Yeah, I think it is best played on N64. I think if you try and play Mario 64... I need to stop saying 64. But if you, if you keep trying to play it... Uh, if you try and play Mario 64 not on a Nintendo 64, like you play on a Switch or a Wii U or whatever, I think it's one of those. Like people say that you kind of you do need that controller. It just it makes more sense. Enjoyed what I played Majora. Click for me way more than but didn't finish. I think Ocarina is too barren and slow. I wouldn't say it was barren myself. I think it was uh, very fun when I first hit that Hyrule field and the locations. I really enjoyed it. Choice is the best job of making a world that feels more alive to lived in, plus more challenge. I mean, they had the luxury of just recycling a bunch of assets, essentially, with Ocari with Majora. Whereas Ocarina is built from scratch. Spot Hops Clock Town. Yeah, Clock Town is really cool actually, now that I think about it. It does have that sense of being lived in, I think you're right. More alive to lived in. Clock Town is pretty good. I still just, for me, the first time I stepped out into the Hyrule field was just chill, chills. Walking across it, it just it felt absolutely endless at the time. It sounds silly now, but I just I hadn't played a game as big as that back then. Games get bigger and bigger since then, but I, I was talking to Abby Jam's thing um, yesterday about this. But it's like when people say that. XYZ is better than ABC and it's like but XYZ came out after ABC so it's kind of like not relevant do you know what I mean it comes down to taste I think then personally but you know if something's come out later well of course you know that's the nature of time Karina gets a lot of spectacle down really well Three great encounters, the rest was just okay. I haven't seen it during the day. See, I don't feel it was that empty at the time. I think it's more of a just a hub work, hub to connect places. GameCube challenge, Ocarina 2. To wait for opening pictures. Well that Zelda for you though. It's part of the fun. There's Lenale. I don't really think we need to go back yet. We could pop in. Do I, I don't think I've got any quests to cash in though. How much money have I got? Maybe I could buy that. No, I've got, I've got no money. 
Unless I sold all those tails to that guy in the old... Let's go to the old town. Thanks to pass the big chest opens immediately. Hmm. It's not something that's ever bothered me, to be honest. I've never really paid attention because it's not very often that you open a big chest. I like the animations for the chests. I guess it could get tiresome on the replay. I mean, if you're speed running, I guess it'd be annoying, but yeah, it's not something that really bugs me. I mean, it's like the same as opening doors on Resident Evil. It's just what makes Resident Evil Resident Evil. Going down the stairs. Boom, boom, boom. Liberty Worlds on 3DS. Who? I've played that. Are you talking to Barley Bart? I played that one. It, I, I, I liked that game, but and I, it's very rare that I say this, but uh, linked between worlds was it was just too easy. I, I feel like I'm being a, a total like snob, but it was just so so easy. I just absolutely blasted through that game, and I thought all the puzzles were kind of dull and obvious, immediately obvious what you needed to do. And so I was very disappointed. I kind of just, I didn't get stuck at all in the entire game. I just absolutely whipped through it. Whereas I, you know, I got used to the 3D Zeldas, which I get stuck quite a lot in them when I was playing them. Not sure quite what to do. Yeah, it's very short, it's very easy, and I just absolutely blitzed through it. I can't even remember half of it now, because it was a bit like Final Fantasy IX in that sense. Final Fantasy IX was pretty easy too. Especially when... I mean, Final Fantasy VII's easy, but Final Fantasy VII was the first one I played. But I think by the time you get to nine, you're a bit of a seasoned veteran by then, and I blitzed through Final Fantasy IX as well and just forgot all about it. Good game though, very easy. Uh, Link to the past, I mean. Final Fantasy IX is not super, super easy. I don't remember it giving me a challenge. I remember 10 giving me a run for my money in certain places. That was a bit of a. a couple of gatekeeping bosses. But yeah, Link to the Past. Uh, the only time I remember ever getting slightly stuck was it was like in a dungeon and there was like one room that I couldn't get in. And it was not really for anything. It just bugged me because there was a room that I couldn't get in. I think it only had a chest with money in it, but I ended up having to look it up. A few rust bosses, but mostly smooth. can't remember, to be honest, with nine. I just remember kind of finishing it. I need to replay 9 properly at some point. Right, I want to find the guy that I can sell all these skiv thing tails to, whatever they're called. Black Mage Fire. Oh, actually, that one does ring a bell now that you say that. I thought it was the one on a. Was it a cable car or something? I do remember that one being a bit tense. Yes, really, just check that out at some point. Like to revisit Link to the Past first. Yeah, I think you, you need to do Link to the Past before you do Link Between Worlds. Because that's a, a huge part of the fun is um, re is revisiting locations that you've got nostalgia for. Yeah, I think I know the boss that you mean. Here's the guy. Give him the money. Uh, give him the tails. 7,000 gold. I was kind of hoping for a bit more. It's not that much. Oh well. Not sure where I'm going though. Because I'm going to have to leave the town. I guess I can head towards the mountain. I'd kind of like to get... You know, everybody's dying. Am I missing equipment? So I do feel like everybody's really weak. I haven't bought any gear. Like, should she be wearing better than this? Mm, 
actually, we're going to. I feel like we're going to a new location. Maybe they will sell stuff. Can make the last Black Waltz fight defeat themselves in nine. Oh. Let's get out of here. The original game the most, Link's Awakening is excellent. I'm not as big of a fan of Awakening. I think it's more my own personal experiences of it than the game itself, but I just remember playing it. I've, I've kind of played it so many times on the Game Boy and used to, kept getting stuck in the same dungeons as a kid and it kind of just bugged me a bit. I really like um, Ocar not Ocarina, Oracle of Seasons and Ages. I really like those two games. Childhood Zelda. Can't really view it impartially. You know, do you, do you ever have a game like that where you, it's kind of like it's not that the game is bad so much but you just sort of got annoyed playing it a lot when you were younger. I'm trying to think what else I feel like that with. Like, I by no means think it's a bad game, but I just... I think I started it up. Breath of Fire 3 is one for me, actually. I'm really ready to replay Breath of Fire 3 now, though. I've put, I've put enough years without ever touching it between me and it, but I used to bloody hate that game because of having to restart it so many times. Same with Tomb Raider 3, to be honest. Although the last time I played Tomb Raider 3, I thought it was scum. I think Tomb Raider 3 has aged terribly. I didn't like it at the time because of playing it too much and it frustrated me, but now I think it's actually just downright obnoxious. The best one. A lot of people say that, but I didn't. I don't know. I haven't played 4, though, but I hear people say 4 is really good. Attack Garnet, so she's the only one alive in the past. The boss just takes damage. Oh. Port Facade was a huge deal for me as a wee lad. I had DX. I don't have DX anymore. Got stuck in Link's Awakening, but I enjoyed that. See, I, I got stuck. Well, I think it was the... Um, it was the water dungeon. That's what I don't like on that game. I bloody hate that water dungeon. Oh, no. There was one puzzle that I used to really... It was something to do with the pole's voice, and I didn't know what a pole's voice was. I couldn't understand the hint. Was it the one where you had to, like, free the imprisoned pole's voice? Oh, it drove me batshit. Let's revisit Breath of Fire 3. I didn't really enjoy it either. Yeah. Some people say it's a solid RPG though. Oh no, I think that's Breath of Fire 1 and 2. One dungeon had you destroy three pillars and throw around cannibals to do it. I just remember this thing about a pole's voice. It drove me spare. Right, let's save and head towards the mountain now. I've never finished Breath of Fire 2. My brother's playing Breath of Fire 2 at the moment. He keeps sending me amusing pictures of the English translation. He's playing the Game Boy version though, but it's just got some funny stuff. My brother sometimes does that. Um, has anybody played... What was the one that he sent me actually? Move a little but He sent me one I remember of um, Xeno Gears, because I don't play these games in, in English anymore, so I miss out on some of this sort of funny double entendres. Oh yeah, he sent me one of Breath of Fire 2 where it says, uh, this monkey is going to give you a spanking. Shupke? <laughs> like, what is that all about? And then, you know, classics like, please look at my ring. I do miss that sort of stuff in RPGs, but he sent me one once, the best one. It was, um, Xenogears. Hang on, Xenogears. Yeah, the PlayStation 1 one. And it's at the start where you go to... Oh, what's the guy called with the glasses? The Doctor. You go to his house and his wife says something about, like, my husband's in the yard fiddling with his junk. <laughs> and I'm, it's like, you had to know. You, you, you knew what you were writing. You knew what you were writing. You don't accidentally write that he's in the yard fiddling with his junk. It's a great translation. It's 
sit down. Yeah, that's it. Dirty bastard. Well, I'm guessing this is the volcano, but I mean the mountain or whatever, but I don't know what I'm doing. Cause he's tinkering with his stuff, isn't he? In the back garden, all those, like, the trash, literally, literally junk. But, um, serial master <laughs> in the yard is of all places as well. Like, didn't have a great time, felt like long stretches were kind of dull, and there were some very obnoxious minigames. What, in Breath of Fire? I, I love the fishing minigame, though, I have to say. Oh, where the hell are we? Is this it? Are these the Kasani? Get ready. I mean, well, if it's his property, he can fiddle with his junk all he likes. Kosani Warrior. Mm. You've got better memories of Breath of Fire 3 than 4. 4 just gives you flashbacks to a bad hide and seek sequence. There's a hide and seek sequence in Breath of Fire 3, but it's not compulsory, I don't think. Are you sure? When you go to Windia, you have to play hide and seek with the kids there. I don't think you need to. You love the fishing. I love the fishing. It's absolutely banging, that is. Get ready. We are guardians of Sarnavar. Oh my god, look at this Kosani's face. The mountain of the wise. None but the Kosani may pass. Turn back from this place, or face the wrath of Varagar's children. Or show him the dagger, I say. But it's like training and that weedy guy to beat his bully. Training that weedy guy to beat his bully. I don't remember that. Is that in Breath of Fire 3? I remember cutting the logs. And every time you miss the log, you accidentally hit your friend. I think the one in four was required, but I don't remember 100%. I don't remember a weedy guy. I remember the Colosseum sequence was annoying. To be honest, the problem for me with Breath of Fire 3 is when, you, especially when you have to replay it because you've lost your save. You know the whole the whole childhood sequence before you become an adult just drags on and on and on every time you replay it. And also, I used to hate doing. Is it the McNeil Manor with the ghosts at the start? We have to you break into the McNeil Mansion. That dungeon just used to drive me insane because it's the random encounters in there are awful. And everything sort of like counters you, and oh, it does my nothing. And then, the, then I mean, to be honest, a lot of the dungeons are like that. The one where you first meet Momo, that's nasty as well, with all those robots. That's a horrible dungeon. I used to just find them miserable to repeat. Once you sort of get past that stuff, though, the game kind of gets quite fast paced. Anyway, let's show him this dagger. We know this dagger as the Blade of Tarun. If indeed you are emissaries of the King of Bedeva, you must appear before the Guardian of the Stone Portal. Follow us. The stealth section going in is garbage to- yeah. <laughs> oh, but I really want to replay it now, though. I feel like it's been so long ago, I, I would I would enjoy it now. I want to do the whole series, though. I mean, I'll wait, because I'll do one and two on the SNES, and then maybe I'll do three. Maybe I'll stream three. Maybe I'll stream everything and never have any time. Is this going to be a cutscene or a new location? The Kosani were children of Vadagar, oh. god of the earth and lover of Doom Diona. In Sanavar, the mountain of the wise, lived the last of their kind. Their ancestors had survived the great flood brought by Amasido's vengeance. Rock me, Amasido. I am the guardian of the stone portal. You have crossed the gates of Sanavar, Mountain of the Wise, and the last stronghold of the Kasani. You shall go no further. The faces in this are magical. They are. They're absolutely stunning. I haven't played since high school. I don't remember the last time. I... I the last time I played Breath of Fire 3 was on the PSP and it was when I was first moving to Japan to study and I didn't stick with it. You present the dagger. So that would have been out 2008. You present the dagger that the Hierophant of Uroth had given you. 
Ooh, excuse me. After yawning, the Guardian inspects it, frowning, as he turns the blade over in his hand. What fools these Kasani be, that one might buy their love of trinkets and false promises. Wait, you're Kasani, though. I'm confused. Have you travelled all this way to give us this blade? If so, you may be off. We have riches enough to buy your king and all of his realm. I seek the rings of summoning. Rings? The Guardian asks, surprised. You, you seek the rings of the Sahugani? If they have them. The warriors guarding the portal begin to murmur excitedly. Prove to us you are the chosen, the Guardian demands. Prove to us you are the Sahugani. I'm a Sahugani. Rosalind whispers in your ear. Sahugani means summoner in the Kosani tongue. Know him. Uh, sh uh, don't know him. <laughs> Show him the mark. Come in and know me better, man. You show the Guardian the mark on the back of your hand. A great cry erupts from the Kasani. See, that's why it's on the cover of the PAL box. It's the mark. I will take you to the Ulsadana, the Guardian says. But I warn you, if you deceive us, you will suffer a fate worse than death. Follow me and do not stray. Absolutely going to stray, you know it. City of the Kasani. Maybe I won't stray this time. We'll explore later. I'll get lost. It's very... It is. It's very Dragon Age, this, isn't it? It reminds me of, like, the Dwarves Underground place. I kind of feel like Dragon Age... I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. Like, who wrote... Who wrote this? Who wrote this? And did they go on to write other video games, I wonder? Oh, he's there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stray. The Kasani glowers at you with a cold and blinking stare. It's because his blinking has not been rendered. I don't think anybody blinks. City of the Kasani. Do do. Wait a minute, though. Didn't they mention... Did they mention the Kosani had something to do with the sewer system in the town? Did they have something to do with the golems? I don't remember now. Because we obviously played that section back in August. Just want to unlock the map a little bit. Oh. Who are you? Ugh. A lot of unblinking stairs. Yeah, I finished Breath of Fire 1. I didn't finish Breath of Fire 2. I got very close. I was kind of near the final boss. But it was kind of hard, if I remember. Breath of Fire 2. I wonder if everybody's going to stare at me because I haven't talked to the... You must not keep the old Sedana waiting. Oh, I guess we'll I guess we'll go and yeah, let's do the plot first. Maybe that's why nobody was responding. Don't wanna waste my time. It's probably bedtime as well in a minute. Um There's not really much to see over here either. I do have Breath of Fire 3 and 4 now though. Although my copy of Breath of Fire 3 is really scruffy. And it really bothers me, because that's sort of a special, nostalgic game for me. What's up this? But I've never played Breath of Fire 4. I don't know why I never got it, it just... I don't know. Oh, so we have got to talk to the old Sedan before we can do anything. At least there's merchants here, though. Yeah, I think... I don't know. I think Breath of Fire 4 just got buried under a lot of other releases. Like, money was always better spent on Final Fantasy. Yeah, the graphics on 4 look gorgeous. That's sort of one of the things I'd like to play it for. I will take you to the old Sadana, but I warn you, if you deceive us, you will suffer a fate worse than death. Follow me and do not stray.
Oh, I guess this is it. Upon the highest throne of the chamber sits the Ulsadana, High Priestess of the Kasani, stoic and solemn. The elders fall silent as you approach the dia the dais. The Ulsadana holds out her arm in a gesture of greeting. The guardian of the stone portal brings strange things. The Sahugani has come to the mountain of the wise, but I see he does not come alone. Who are your companions? Sahugani. What is that? Did you just... Oh my god. Is that the fucking face of... Thingy? God. I like the face of the, um... I like the, the, the cursed face of the supposed evil god. I mean, all of them. It may be. It definitely is. I should always wonder when you go quiet. Maybe I should put that in the chat box. I should do one of the, a slideshow like I usually do and have that face somewhere. A stone portal brings strange tidings. Sahugani has come to the Mount of the Wise, but I see he does not come alone. Who are your companions, Sahugani? Woo! Sahugani? I thought it was Walter White for a second. The Sahugani are called summoners in the Medivan tongue. A terrible thing to be born, Sahugani. Your mark portends bloodshed and sufferings. Does it have to be both? The hand that wears the ring brings death to his people. And yet it is written, the Sahagani shall redeem the wasteland and make the world anew. Rings? We forge the rings in the fires below Sanabar and hid them in the deepest shadows of creation. This has been told in the song of Rukha. The Kusani can help you, if you prove yourself worthy. Jesse, we have to go- Who's Walter White? I'm not getting this. Walter White? Should I know this? Breaking Bad- I've not seen enough of Breaking- Now I know who you mean. I've only seen- I think I've seen three episodes of Breaking Bad. I liked it, but just- yeah, too many shows. And um, I didn't watch it when it was first popular. I tried to watch it later, but there's... Yeah. I should probably watch it. Characters' responses make them seem very dumb. I oh, we've had... We, yeah, we've had this. It's very Metal Gear, isn't it? He repeats everything all the time. I think it's... I think you almost... If you just read it in your head without saying it out loud, I think it's just supposed to be to prompt it on, but it sounds stupid when you say it. It sounds like he's totally useless and incompetent. We forged the rings in the fires below Sarnavar and hid them in the deepest shadows of creation. This has been told in the song of Rukhar. The Kasani can help you if you prove yourself worthy. Prove myself worthy? It's funny. To, it is. I mean, you think, like, how does he remember to breathe, let alone summon anything? You must submit to the ordeal. The guardian of the stone portal shall guide you to the labyrinth. But tell us before you go, Sahugani, who are your companions? Jekar. Jekar steps forward. What is your name, warrior? The ordeal. <laughs> Problems with your daughter. Asks the Ulsadana. I am Jekar, he answers. I have come by order of his majesty, Belias the Sixth, King of Medeva and Prince of Runare. My companions? Who are they? The Ulsadana regards him thoroughly, thoughtfully. You are, you are a child of the, of the what? The Husofi clan? Oh, yeah, they just make up words as they go along in this game, I swear. Yes, I am Husofi. Who are the fuck are the Husofi? Were they mentioned in the, uh, in the, the priest place? Jekar replies, Though I am no child, the old Sudani nods, the Husafi are a people of honour. I was friend of the heroes, you know, only in the song. Damat... Damatas... <laughs> Bibbity, Bobbity, whatever. Galadorn and Ursi. The Husafi rode chariots and carried spears of ash at the Battle of Udvahi. <laughs> 
I, I, I just like, even if you're not looking at the screen, it just sounds like I'm just making up shit. The Battle of Udahani, with Jabba Booty, the helms of the Doodle Flops, children, gleamed as bright as the sun. Kasani welcome you to Sarnavar, but you are a warrior of warriors. Jekar bows. I am honoured, Ul Sadana. I am of the Banoffi clan. <laughs> Rosalind. Rosalind steps forward. I am Rosalind of Iona. The elders murmur to each other in low, threatening tones. With an impatient wave of her hand, the Ulsadani silences. Oh, I didn't even know there were other people were here. It's too dark to see. I guess that's those chaps on the sides. I understand your grievances against the Order of Iona, though the Kasani are older. Oh, sorry, no. There was no comma there. Although the Kasani are older than stones of Sarnavar, Sir Carados and his knights, the Ulsadani pounds her staff on the, on the dais. Your order desecrated hallowed ground. Beneath the stones of your sorcerer's towers lie the bones of our god. You are minions of the seductress who destroyed our cities. No, Amasido. What, is, what the hell's Amasido? Rosalind stammers. Silence rules the Ulsadani. Rosalind sets back, trembling with rage. I grab myself mystical bananas from the local tribe of Garmahame. He's got the orb of exactly Hormelians. When I was younger and I had to name characters, it's very much. So I'd tell me random letters that have something that something look vaguely cool. Yeah. Well, I used to rip off other things. I actually found an old story of mine that I wrote. Speaking of Breath of Fire 3, I took a picture of it. I'm not sure I'm comfortable sharing it, though. But uh, the gist of it was I, I basically plagiarized the beginning of Breath of Fire 3. It was like two thieves, and they were like hanging around on the highway, robbing people that go past. And, oh, my God. what One of them was, I think... I can't remember. One of them was called like Khan or something, which is like a mixture of Kane from Legacy of Kane and Pan from Sui Cold. And oh, it's just bad. It's an absolute tripe. So I, I really shouldn't be throwing stones. And I think there's something about the using satchels, and satchels were bombs. And I think I lifted that from a game called Mist. Mist 2. Do you remember Mist? Not as in the point and click game. There was this like real-time strategy game with like little dwarf characters that could throw satchels that exploded something I don't know it's just shameless stealing fleece speaking of stealing fleece steps forward and bows with a flourish as if imitating the lords of the royal courts oh great Ulsadani fleece of Lenale at your service <laughs> You're a liar and a thief, says Gollum. But such is the corruption of your people, a yearning for that which is not yours. I shall warn you once and only once. If you dare touch a single stone, justice will be swift and unerring. No, nothing of miss. It's M-I-S-T, that one is. There was two games. They were PC ones. Tancred once told me I just had a demo of it, sorry, I'm, I'm mixing up all my stuff. Glyphics, hello! I'm probably ending soon again, but welcome, welcome, we're not done yet. How are you? Fleece laughs, Tancred once told me, the Chamber of Sarnavani are filled with gold, but I'd rather die a pauper than face Kasani justice. And then your friend Tancred is a wise man. The old Sadani replies, farewell! Thanks. We were asked to write a story about taking a holiday on the beach. Within a few paragraphs of mine, a monster had crawled onto the beach from the ocean that bore a suspicious resemblance to Darth <laughs> It's okay, just sitting down at my desk with a cup of coffee. I'd love to do that, but I have to go to sleep. I'm not ready to sleep, though. Why does work ruin everything? I don't want to go to work. Why can't this be my work? Because then I probably wouldn't enjoy it. As the old Sadani has the creed, you must prove yourself in the ordeal of Labyrinth if the Kosani are to help you. What is the ordeal? 
The ordeal is a test of your will and strength in the law of our people. Warriors must pass the ordeal before they swear the oath of the old Sudani. What lies in the labyrinth? Like, just go and find out. The infernal ones that lurk in the fires below the mountain and Kasani who have betrayed their people. If you prevail, you should be judge worthy. But heed my advice. Not all tasks can be passed by blade and magic alone. Farewell, farewell. See ya. Work is the worst. It is. It is. But it pays for the games I stream. The warrior glowers at you with cold and blinking stare. It also pays for the electricity for me to do this stream. It's just a normal holiday story, you know, with monsters, exactly. I'm trying to remember what what were my characters? I'm gonna see if I can find it. Who's this chap though? Let me see if I can find the um I took a photo I threw it in the bin while I was back at home at my mother's. I found it in a wardrobe. It was in my, like one of my old school I mean I did it as it like a bloody English assignment as well. It's so cringe. It must have been in like year seven or something. Whenever I was playing Breath of Fire. You go back, 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 back. Um, what did I even call it as well? It's just utter cringe. Oh, I don't know where the photo is now. It's a shame. It was like Legend of Cramia or some, you know, just some made up crap that I'd lifted from several titles. Oh my god, it's even worse than that. I don't even know why I've called this story. This is so embarrassing. It was called The Secret of Rockefeller. Like, where the hell did I get the word Rockefeller from? Was it from Fatboy Slim? Or, because I don't think I knew about the the... the the American Rockefeller building. I had no idea what that was. Why the hell was I calling it this, that, that? I heard it in passing, thought it was cool. Yeah. Funk Cell Brother. Oh, chapter one. Mordred the Thief. Mordred. Bloody Mordred. That's stolen from um, Doctor Who, I think. <laughs> Mordred. That's like, isn't there, a, isn't there a Doctor Who story called Mordred Undead? Something like that. Shameless. As the old Sadana has decreed, you must prove yourself in the ordeal of the labyrinth if the Kosani are to help you. What is the ordeal? The secret of oil barons, yeah. <laughs> the secret of New York. <laughs> the ordeal is to tell you know, the high fantasy novel. <laughs> secret of London. The ordeal is a test of your will and strength. If the law of our people, warriors, must pass the ordeal before they swear their oath to the Ulsadana, what lies in the labyrinth? The infernal ones that lurk in the fires below. Did we just read this? We've just talked to somebody else that had the same thing to say. Repeating myself, the mysterious world of Rockefeller. Let me have a look. Oh, there's a dwarf sword. Hey, get down from my tree, whoever you... See, this is already bad grammar already. Whoever you are, before I call the dwarf squad. <laughs> I heard the voice of an angry centaur. There's a centaur in this story. I shivered and picked up some apples from the tree, took one deep breath and jumped. I could feel the wind rushing past my face as I jumped. Waited for my feet to make contact with the ground, and then bent my knees and stood up. Such detail. Oh my god, I'm looking for another name of a character. Khan. Oh, here's one. After that, we saw a sign saying Path Path Pathata Village. The hell is Pathata Village? Pathata village. I can't think where I've lifted that from. I think I just that's just probably me like smashing my head against the keyboard thinking that sounds cool. Chapter two. It's only and chapter one was like three paragraphs. What a chapter. 
Chapter 2. The death of Khan with a question mark. Obviously, in my mind, he didn't die. I only wrote two chapters, though. Never know. Did he die or not? Oh, yeah, because that's what, that's what I lifted from Breath of Fire 3. Um... In Breath of Fire 3, isn't it? Isn't it Tipo and uh, slight spoilers? You don't play Breath of Fire 3, but Tipo and what's the tiger guy called? Don't that like they they are supposedly dead for the majority of the game? I think after the start because they wash, they get attacked by the two horse people, don't they? And fall in the river and float away, and so do you. And then you wake up as an alone. And I, li I lifted that. Rabbit of the Kasani. Not yet. No, no, no. Ray. That's it. Yeah. So I think even in my story, similar thing happened, basically. they, they The two thieves stole from the wrong people and then got killed. Well, one of them got killed as a revenge thing. But did he actually die? Probably not. I mean, I, don't, I probably never would have been able to finish that story because I never finished um, Breath of Fire 3. So I wouldn't know how to conclude it. We've talked to you. The breath of Rockefeller. Yeah, Rockefeller. Just not the dwarf squad. Yeah. You have to be careful or she'll get a satchel down your arse. I could write a much better story now. It would be about a boy that was born only to discover that he could summon demons. And he has to go on a quest to gather different rings. But he also sort of accidentally caused the destruction of his hometown. And many, many people died. And he ends up on a quest with this guy called... Um, called... Um, wow. Well, Fleck Her. Who's really hateful because... It, he lost his family in this incident too and he goes with a girl called Flace the guardian of the stone portal waits for you at the labyrinth pass the ordeal and we will help you oh my god I've got to do the ordeal first so I can't do anything this is miserable oh well we can still walk around the town I guess dun, 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 dun. thinking of Rockefeller makes me think of a Jackbox game Played recently where you invent superheroes that do battle against each other. Hard Rockefeller. I mean, I'm embarrassed at myself. Like, did I really not have a better name than Rockefeller? I, I could have called it something. I used to have a thing about. I used to like stealing the name Raziel from Soul Reaver and changing that. Like, putting a different consonant in front of it and thinking it was unique. Like, Laziel or something like that. <laughs> Lazier. I like the letter Z in names. I think it's a nice... I don't know. I should have called myself, my username on Twitch, Rockefeller. Rockefeller Moon. That would have been a good username, don't you think? Or... Mordred. My username is very... Uh, again, is just stolen. <laughs> I've, I've said it before, but there's probably... I don't know how many of you even have heard me say where my username comes from, but it's basically... It's just the name of a song. And it's easy to... It was easy to get because it's grammatically incorrect. Best Baldur's Gate character was called Razzy. <laughs> just add one letter in and that's it. <laughs> Yeah, mine's just a B-side by a band that I really like, and the song is called Hysteric Moon. And it's a Japanese band, and they obviously don't understand how adjectives work. What's the band? It's called Jan Da Ark. It's like a bad spelling of Joan of Ark. Original character, do not steal. I'm gonna go with Al or Al. The the band are were fairly famous in Japan. 
at the time. Not as famous as things like Lark on Ciel, but I would say they're most famous for doing the, in the Western context, they would be most famous for doing the intro to Mega Man X7. I think they did the theme song for Mega Man X7 or X8. It's called Wild Fang. It's not my, it's it's also probably my least favorite song by them, but it was used in the Mega Man X game. Well, there aren't many Japanese bands I've gotten into. My favorite is Supercar. I don't know Supercar. Are they old or new? I don't follow new music much. They are also famous, I guess, because they did an ending theme to One Piece called Shining Ray. But anybody that I know that likes One Piece in Japan doesn't know the song, so it probably wasn't the most popular song. Did you catch the name? You can call me Al. <laughs> and when you call me, Betty. Why aren't you in the labyrinth? Because I'm sightseeing. Do you fear the ordeal? Supercar broke in 2004. Very grunge. Don't know them then. I wonder if they're a major or more indies. We can't even go down here. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. You've got that in my head again now. Is it Betty a woman's name? Only in your mind. What is a name? Indeed, I keep wanting to say, if indeed you are Safugin, you must prove yourself in the labyrinth. But I believe that Janda Art comes from Devilman. I think there's a character in Devilman that's called Janda Art, which is obviously a ripoff of Joan of Arc. And they were kind of a fan of the Devilman series, and that's why they named the band that. Kong Pao? I think I've seen that a long time ago. There's a little pile of vowels and consonants. Because there, I remember the bands, um, they did a limited edition box set of their first three indie, indie albums and I bought it and on the front cover of that it has a devil man. You must pass the ordeal, this Ulsadana commands. Yeah, I really liked the B song, it, nobody knows it. I liked the B song. It's not my favourite song by them, but it was just when I was picking a username, I guess it was uh, available. And when I originally chose my username, I wasn't ever in a million years thinking about streaming myself it was literally to be a viewer so I didn't really think about things like that and I'm sort of just I don't know it's just stuck now people call me moon and I'm sort of used to it and every so often you know I'll raid somebody and they'll call me like historic moon that's always a good one thank you for the raid historic moon People sometimes just, I guess they uh, auto-correct in their head and call me Hysterical Moon. I don't. <laughs> I I kind of wish I thought about that a little bit more because I I feel like it. When people say it like that, I'm like, oh my god, that sounds so arrogant. Like I think I'm I, I think that I'm hysterical. I don't think I'm hysterical. I might be hysterical in the sense that I need a slap, but I certainly don't think I'm hysterical. Shouldn't there be a staircase here? Not that hysteric is even better though, but I guess it just sounds whatever. I didn't think about it that deeply. It was literally a song title. No profound insight in my name. Just, I like this band, the end. And if I wasn't worried about getting sued, I would use the song as, a, as an intro or something. But 
uh, the record company that the band are under are super hardcore. They're the ones, like, anybody that's under that record label on YouTube, all this stuff gets pulled off. Good old Avex. Whatever. We've, we clearly can't do anything until we do this ordeal, so I think we'll, we'll go down to the ordeal. They used to call me AI, so I capitaled it. Sneaky AI. You don't want that, do you? Sneaky AI. <laughs> I'd be like, ban. I noticed that there were some bots, new bots recently, that are lurking in chat, and they're just called, like, Def Not A Bot 1, Def Not A Bot 2, Def Not A Bot 3. At least they're sort of honest about it in a humorous way, but... Um, dun, 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 dun. I'm lost now. Is that why the stream says you have 70... what? I don't know. I think that's because I had a raid earlier. My friends are called Lane, but people outside the UK don't know that spelling. Sometimes it gets called Lane. Oh, Ian! I don't need to know how many viewers I have, thank you. Hey Dragon Gem, how's it going? I'm probably about to end in a moment. I've seen a weird string of first name underscore last name for bots recently. Yeah, you can spot them quite easily anyway. They don't count as viewers anyway, bots don't. They just sit there, because they're not watching, they're just in chat, connected to the chat interface, but they're not c counted as a view. I was playing a point-and-click adventure game called Lucid Dreaming, and it reminded me of me. Oh, really? Lucid Dreaming? You should end right as I'm starting with, yeah, and you're, I notice you're always streaming when I, it's like first, early in the morning for me while I'm at work. Lucy Dreaming? What's that? Is it a point and click? Oh, what did he say? Don't even know. Be nice if there's a way to turn off the view count. I did it just to... Ha well, I don't know mine, because uh, all I do is I pop out chat and maximise it on my laptop screen and then I can't see anything. All I can see is chat. <laughs> So, I have my phone open with the stream, so if I want to know, I can tap the phone, I guess. But I don't do it that much. Maybe when I go for a break, I might have a little nosy. This Kasani rune represents the number one. I don't want to see. It just gets me in my head and annoys me to think about it. It's locked. Don't look at... No, it's awful. It just... It, it will just... I don't know. Even think about it now, I'm like, oh, I don't want to think about it. Pay attention. Well, there we go. Right, I think I'm going to just save here because it is definitely bad time. Oh, no, we're not because we're going to fight these golems first. Shit, is this the ordeal? Am I not going to be able to save? This is going to do my head in. Oh no. Well, let's not talk about this anyway, thank you. Angel, hey, how are you? Main character is a little girl who's having nightmares. So she's trying to solve the nightmares, but her accent remote. Oh! Is it British? The dwarf squad. Is 
Is it a puzzle game? I actually used to be able to lucid dream. I don't. I haven't lucid dreamt for ages now. I suffer from sleep paralysis though, and it sort of goes hand in hand with lucid dreaming. I know that there's a lot of people that go out of their way to try to lucid dream. I personally find it a curse because I freak out when I lucid dream because in a way to lucid dream you need to be aware that you're asleep and I find it terrifying. You used to have sleep paralysis. Yeah, it's awful. I haven't had sleep paralysis for quite a long time now. I think I'm just, maybe because I'm, I don't know, getting older or just more tired. But but actually, I find that it does affect me more when I'm really, really exhausted. My sleep paralysis really first started around the time I moved. When I went to university, I think it was a big life change. Sleep paralysis is awful. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. It is absolutely terrifying. I, li I literally feel like I'm dying. I can't move in my body and I feel like if I don't wake up, I'm going to die. You cannot save in the labyrinth. Well, I'd like to leave then because I don't want to do it yet. Oh, fuck. What now? Kasani Rune represents the number one. Why did I walk in here? Locked. Oh my god, I need to go to bed. Locked. Locked. I just want to leave, I don't want to do this right now. I thought I'd just walk through the door and save the game and do it tomorrow. <laughs> Let me leave. What am I supposed to be doing? I don't know what to interact with. We just, do we just walk into the next chamber? In these two chambers, pass the test of insight. Here, wisdom can move stones. Oh no, this is going to go on, isn't it? I've got no wisdom right now. So many sleep issues. You never have sleep paralysis, but the dreams are vivid enough I can accidentally get lucid without trying. So I would start off with a lucid dream and then it would shift into sleep paralysis if, if I was lucid dreaming, but usually sleep paralysis just comes on its own. So only room represents number six. Um, I don't... I can barely see what these things are. I guess I did the wrong one. Locked. Of course it's locked. You can wake yourself up. For me, I feel like I can't breathe and I'm trying to wake myself up and can't wake myself up. And then eventually I'll wake up with a jolt. I don't do the thing where I imagine someone's in my room though. It's literally like real paralysis. It's like I'm, I'm stuck in my own body and I can't wake up. And I also get, you know when, I forgot what they call it now. It's like head explosion syndrome, where you get this like loud ringing in your head. Oh shit, I've just pressed that button again. Citrine. Oh, we're gonna have to kill more golems. This is six. Represents the number six. When did I last save the game? I'm, I'm tempted to just redo this tomorrow or something. I haven't saved for ages. Oh my god. Um. I don't think I did anything though, did I? Just kind of, because I could probably catch us up tomorrow. Oh. Ever experienced sleep paralysis to my knowledge, what my partner tells me about the Red Skull appearance? See, that's the other one where people hallucinate while they're having it because they're in a certain stage of sleep. Ah, oh, I keep pressing buttons. I'm just trying to pick up what he dropped. It's immediately triggering another.
I'm not touching anything. What do I think? What do I have to do here? Do I need to press the two numbers that were over there? So the first. This is six, apparently. What is it, though? A, a claw thing? It's none of those. Uh, oh, unless it just means like. So, number six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Do we hear golems? Maybe that's correct. And there was one in the other room that said one, I think. Let's just double check. Represents number one. How do you wake yourself up if you have a nightmare? I'm literally trying to like throw myself off the bed. But I can't move. Is that it? Oh, why is this door open? The music's good though. I guess that was it. And what's this? chamber off. Please, I'd like to save. The fact that it's called a labyrinth really bothers me. Pass the test of might. Fight well or the oath breakers will destroy you. Are these the ones that have um, betrayed the people? It represents the number three. Okay. I should heal. Cannot be opened from here. Where are the oath breakers? Oh, here they come. I need to level up her appraisal skill as well so that she can actually do something about that sword that I've got. I don't know whether to do, do at least two more points. Has she got a new spell yet? She's only got two spells. Can we identify that sword? Nope. What was that number? Number three. In these two chambers, pass the test of thought. Your wits must be your guide. Oh no. I think I remember this. Oh no, it's one of these things. Oh, these, this could take a while. Why now? Why can't I save? I wouldn't mind doing this tomorrow at my own leisure, you know what I mean? It's a fool to start the labyrinth. Oh no. Especially with this, these controls, this is going to be really irritating. Oh, 
no, where's the um? <laughs> I don't want that one. Do you reckon this is the last room? Oh, maybe I, I don't need to do it all. I just need to make a bridge. I don't think I need to do it all. Yeah, I've just got to make a bridge over. Oh, that's not so bad. Number five. Okay. Oh, we can get this. Studded pants. Sexy. Give some modest protection. He's got no pants on. Yes. I think it's only, it's just making a bridge, so that's not really a big deal. I actually don't mind these kinds of puzzles, but I just, you know, I'm in, I'm in a rush. <laughs> I have to be up for work in seven hours. I would, I would really like to save the game. I don't want to do this all over again. There we go. Studded leather. What's that? Ooh. For Joseph Jekar Fleece. 25. I'll put that on them. Very nice. I like it. Represents the number five. What did the other one represent? So I assume it will be relevant in a moment. Three. Three and five. And the problem with Thursdays for me at work as well is I don't, I can't get a nap on a Thursday. So if I'm tired, that's it. Now, past the test of memory, those whose eyes are open shall see. Oh, have I got to remember them all? No, I won't. I don't want to use it. I'm just curious what it was. Um, oh, I don't know what these were. I assume I've got to run back and check what each symbol was. Oh, feck off. I might look at a guy, I can't be asked. Where are we? The labyrinth. Dad. Why are these? What are they doing? Oh my god, they're not even in the same room. <laughs> Stupid. Revive Fleece. Uh. 
the fifth puzzle. Revolves the runes on the floor from the previous runes. Each rune represents a number. You're supposed to raise them in the order from one to six. I mean, I've been paying attention, but from the bottom to the top, they're five. Eh? I'll read that in a moment. Because every time you get it wrong, it's going to summon enemies. Absolutely cannot with that. Who's paralyzing? That's is that the ice magic? Because that's pretty damn useful. Right. Oh, you get a lot of experience from them though. It might be <laughs> if I had more time I'd say it was worth dying. Okay. So from the top, they are five, six, two. On the right, they are three, four, one. Raise them in order from one to six. And the puzzle is yours. Oh, okay. So what? Wait, that was, huh? That was the one that I did do first. Am I facing the right way? Or is it on about this map? Just a bunch of giant puzzles. The final puzzle involves rooms on the floor in the previous rooms. Each room represents a number. You're supposed to raise them in the order from one to six. You may not be paying attention to follow these. From the bottom to top, they are left. But from what perspective? This is silly. Five, six, three, four, what? So I think it's this. But I'm sure that I pressed that one. One. Oh, for fuck's sake. This guide is just not telling me the right thing. So it's back, right, front, left. Sorry, what do you mean? Bat right one just activated the golems though. I'm wondering if he's meaning from the map, which fine, but make that clearer. <laughs> like, is it from a north perspective? It's not the, you know, I would have thought the perspective that I entered the room would have made more sense. Let's give it a go. I mean, I could just run all the way back and check all of them, but I just can't, can't be bothered. It'd probably have been faster, though. Alright, let's, let's try this way, then. One. No, that's not it. Oh! It's gonna piss me off, this is. I think I just need to find another guide. Just want to save the game. Uh, summon a guide and walk through. Let's try this one. 
I have gained new insight. Pass the ordeal. Oh, this is a fantastic walkthrough. It just says, when you've completed the labyrinth, well, thanks. <laughs> Not going to tell me how. When you... Oh, it's the same bloody guide. You, uh, sorry, are you telling me? Back right one, then back left two. Right from what perspective, though? From 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 where? Like I'm going into the room. Why do all the, the why is this all the same guy that just says when you finish the labyrinth? Oh my god. There is literally like one guy that's everywhere. At the end of the room. Oh, this is Number one. Front left two. One. Okay, good, good. Front left two. Are we good? Just wait for chat to catch up. Not what this guide I was looking at said. Must be going in reverse then. Oh, I don't even know. No. Oh, what now then? <laughs> oh, shall I just? I'm just. Gonna, I'm just going to walk back. It's going to. It's going to be so much faster to just. It's end of the room left. Oh. I should literally just walk back and look. <laughs> Wait, the door's open. The final test awaits you. Heal yourself if you are weak. What? Was I supposed to do more? I don't even care. <laughs> Get me out of here. I should heal myself if I'm weak. Oh shit, I didn't heal myself. Um, heal yourself, girl. <laughs> ah, it's 1 a.m. Fire him. This is the curse of, you know, when you play old retro games, the curse of, of being unable to save when you just want to go to bed. Like, don't you take for granted modern gaming and rest modes and auto saves? I remember playing, when I was playing um, Xeno Gears on the PS1, I mean, I didn't have a job at the time, it was during Covid when I quit my job. 
But even then, like, just wanting to go to sleep and that game would just not stop with the text boxes and talking, talking, talking. And I just was like, oh my god, I just want to save the game and go to bed. And I think one night I actually just left the power on all night. Which I technically could do now, but not with today's cost of electricity, no thanks. I'm not leaving the power on for 20 hours while I go to sleep and go to work. Item. Oops. This looks very bossy. Would like to save. Leave the computer on. That's where it should be. Basically, not in my house. It wasn't there. My dad would always be like, "Get that off." Are you still running? Um, holy up. I guess. She's learnt trip now. I think. Energy. She learns a new spell. Power Leech. Target loses AP. Caster gains AP. Salamanca. The Kasani can't make us fight that thing. It's not fair. For all your weapons, your deal isn't over yet. Of course it isn't. <laughs> what an ordeal. Some good music. Where is it? Why is it over there? Giant Salamanca. Oh, where where am I? Oh my god! Can't even find the bloody thing. Oh, we've we've got the red Minotaur now. Although I guess he's the fire one, so it's probably not the best thing. He's my new summon, because I think I guess I've leveled up. Oh my god, Fleece is like dead. Why are you attacking Fleece? She's got no defense. She'll just have to die. Oh, look at that Minotaur. Backstab it. I don't think I can. Oh! Did she just backstab it to death? Yeah, stay out. Really? 
or is it just part two? Part two. Um, so where is it? Examine container. Pyros ring. This ring increases the resistance to fire. Okay. I'm a bit busy at the minute. But. I wish I could see where it was. Oh. Ring of blessings. Holy plus two. Some good treasures down here. <clears throat> Where is the fucking boss? <laughs> oh, there you are. three. Running away again. Just dragging this out. Dropping stuff. Chainmail tunic. Joseph Jackar or Fleece. Fleece probably needs it the most, I want to say. Was it 40? Ooh. Yeah, get it on. Oh, she can't wear it. Heavy arms. Oh, he's already got one arm. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, she can wear his tunic. Or the studded leather. That's better. There we go. It's a better defense. Maybe that's why she was dying all the time. Any other treasures? dead now. Good. I feel, probably should have come to this place before the other place. I feel like this is the easier dungeon. Oh, I can save. And I will. We'll conclude this later. <laughs> oh. Hooray! Well, and then we'll finish exploring. I feel like there's other stuff down here. 
But for now, that is.